We're in Fall of Water Frogs. We're Rowing Wind. This is your friend James, and this is his father, my father, Harold Dale Robinson. If you're wondering where Harold Dale came from, and Robinson <laughs> in my name, we want to encourage you faith, peace, Amen. joy. We want to give you a maintenance tutorial. Amen. There's faith, peace, and joy, and the main thing is, of course, one, you don't lose them, two, you don't hoard them. You spread them. And three, don't let someone make you feel bad if you have them and they don't. So we're going to start with faith. One, don't lose them. First of all, it's impossible to please God without faith. So you can't lose faith. You want to maintain your faith, you can't lose it. Amen. One thing that you want to understand when you're talking about faith, because it says in the eyes there, the, uh, correct me, I Hold one, son. You put candy in my mouth. I was thinking he got the candy in his mouth. No matter, it'll be fine. <laughs> all right, all right, then. Put your foot down. I was going to throw it. I heard you tell me. Amen. Put your foot down. 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 First off, John, right? We talk about faith. I mean, in in uh, Hebrew, the eleventh chapter, in the first verse, it said, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen." And the key thing that we need to understand. is is that we you cannot you do not want to lose the faith that God have blessed you with and the only way that you can get faith is because it says in Romans the the tenth chapter and the seventeenth verse now faith cometh by hearing and by hearing and by hearing of the word of God and if you don't stay in the word of God you will slowly surely begin to lose your faith and believe lose your right standing with God because it says in Hebrew the eleventh chapter and the sixth verse now without faith it is impossible to please him and who is him him is God and that's who we are trying to please God and one thing that God is telling us stand fast therefore in the liberty in which in Galatians 5 and 1 it says stand fast therefore in the liberty in which he have made us free and be not again entangled with the yoke of bondage, because your faith is standing with the word of God so you don't want to lose it. Do Amen. not lose faith. Do not. I mean, that's the crux of everything. Jesus said, have faith in God. Mark 11, 23, 22. Uh, faith, don't hoard it. Now, this is something else. Some people enjoy themselves and they're happy and they're at peace. And this is what the church kind of got in trouble with during COVID to 2020. We got the protection of God. So a lot of us went in our houses and closed the door. But you're not supposed to hoard faith all for yourself. You are supposed to spread faith. That includes to your family members and stuff like that. Some people have faith and they don't use it on their family members. They use it on themselves, but they don't use it on their family members. <laughs> hey Amen. The key thing that um, I found out of what, especially what it is, right, whenever you're dealing with right and you're dealing with wrong, and, and why I say right and wrong, because children of God, during this uh, pandemic that was, good, that was going around all the Christians, because it, it says in the 91st Psalm, the 91st Psalm, a thousand will fall at thy side, and 10,000 at thy right hand. And he's saying this, he's saying, look here, will you, the only, then he said in the next verse, he said, only with thine eyes. They will receive the reward of the wicked. The people that are dying, I hate, I'm just going to say, the Bible says that is the reward of the wicked. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who they are, I'm sorry. If you got a problem, the one that died, check it out with God. He will take, make sure he'll take care of it. But the key thing about it, right, what you need to do is whenever you whenever you see a downhearted person, a person that just having struggle and can, can barely make it and stuff like that, give them the word. Because the word is what's going to set them free. The word is what's going to deliver them. The word is what's going to make them the head and not the tail. The word is what's going to give them power. The word is what's going to put finances in them, in their pockets, in everything. All you got to do is just trust my God. And when you trust my God, my God will deliver you. It's right around the building. <laughs> Faith, don't let someone three, don't let someone make you feel bad if you have it and they don't. This is <laughs> now they almost stoned Moses, Joshua, Aaron, and Caleb Amen. over this situation. Amen. And some people will in I'll just let Daddy go ahead and talk. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, listen here. Uh this is this is 
Christian, I'm, I want to talk to a Christian now because the people of the world, they finna just, they finna stone you and do everything else. But listen here, Christian, whenever you see another brother or another sister with more than what you got, hey, thank God. Thank God for it. And what only the reason is they, they got more than you is because they, they went to Romans. Romans 10 and 17. 10 and 17. And Romans 10 and 17. Now faith comes by hearing and by hearing and by hearing the word of God. But the problem is you. the reason you don't have it is because you stop reading and studying the word of God. Your power is in the word of God. Your victory is in the word of God. Your deliverance is in the word of God. And the more you study the word of God, the more you believe what the word is saying and the more victory you get. And when you get victory, you got joy and you got everything that you need in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead, Mother. Also, too, uh, in the 13th chapter, in the 14th chapter, Numbers, when Joshua and Caleb, the, the 12 spies, came back, and 10 brought up an evil report, and the two brought up a good report. Amen. The ones with the evil report didn't want to receive the faith with the ones with the good report. Amen. They wanted to stone them just because they said, if the Lord be with us, he will deliver us. Amen. Amen. So don't let someone make you feel bad. This is interesting because during the COVID pandemic, Pastor Robinson, their church did not close. Amen. Amen. They stayed open. And we had uh, uh, Ohio and was there Arizona. Other states in the United States did not close. Amen. And Lord bless them. But this is for, this is kind of a reversal. Don't you make somebody feel bad, Christians, if they have faith and you don't. Because the, the we've had the God forgive the Christians who were that's didn't right. have faith when the That's pastors right. were trying. If somebody has an issue and they're trying to believe the Lord and you don't, best either keep your mouth shut or pray for them. Amen. But if you are believing the Lord and you got some hater Christians, sounds bad, yeah. Yeah. but if you got some hater Christians who are trying to stop you, you don't let Amen. them stop because they'll, they'll tell you to, they'll they'll superimpose their fear That's and right. doubt and unbelief on you That's to right. pull you down That's so right. you can be... Back in the crap pen That's right. with them. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You're, they'll just pull you down. Then you'll be gone. And see, there'll only be one person who left his church open instead of two people who left their church open. Amen. So don't let, don't let. If Amen. you're believing the Lord, might be time, like the time he said, love them from afar if That's necessary. Right. That's right. So, you, you know, one thing, he said something. It might be time to love them from afar. And the reason why, because look here, if you allow them to make you let you feel sad, uh, saying that you, you would do and do it more than I would do it. No, what you do, you just stand on the word of God and believe his word. And God is going to deliver you. God is going to make you the head and not the tail. And for one thing about this walk that all pastors have is between them and God. They have got to answer God for what they did not do. And, and I'm going to tell you, you know, during this pandemic and stuff like that, you know, what I did, and the Lord showed us, my wife and I, the Lord showed us to do, uh, obey the, the, the law. Obey the law. And what we did, we obeyed the law, and we did exactly as the law said, and, and the Lord never told us to close our church. But it, what it did, man put fear there. And when man put fear in there, that's when the, the pastors got deceived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, so anyways, <laughs> let's continue on with peace. Uh, but all these, um, maybe uh, all these do focus in on the same thing. Amen. All that was said about faith, but peace, don't lose it. Don't wake up Jesus. Oh, Lord, we perish, we perish. That's right. That's don't right. lose it. That's right. And the reason why, let, let, we picture this, right? Say, don't lose peace. Because, listen here. I'm going to sing something here to tell you. The devil, is in, in, in John 10, 10, the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. If you know that, you know the basics. But it said the, 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 the truth is, but God come that we might have, but Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundant. Our peace is in the word of God. Our structure is in the word of God. Our health is in the word of God. Our healing is in the word of God. Do not lose the peace that God has given you. Now, I, I'm going to tell you how you know that you don't have peace. And this is how you know you don't have peace. You don't have peace whenever you're laying in your bed at nighttime. 
and you're thinking about mess that you cannot control. That's all it is, mess that you cannot control. And so what you're going to have to do is take all of that and cast all your care upon the Lord. And when you cast your care upon the Lord, that is when you're going to have the power, the victory, and deliverance in Jesus' name. Thou will keep me perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me because he trusts in thee. And that's an issue Amen. why you do need it. A lot of people, the problem where it, with it is they're not trusting. That's right. They said, Jesus, will care not that we perish. That's right. They're, they're, so that requires you to meditate on the word of God and get into it if you are not trusting. But that's the key to it Amen. is the trusting in it. And so, uh, so peace, don't lose it. But two, don't hoard it. Spread Amen. it. Now, this is what Jesus did. He wasn't happy after he calmed the storm. That's right. But he did not hoard his peace. Amen. And just went back. He didn't go back to sleep. Amen. And say, Nick, quit messing with me and let them sit there through this. So this works especially for pastor. Oh, pastors. Oh, yeah. Pastors. Amen. Fathers, mothers, bosses. That's it. Um, anybody who's in the leadership position. So don't hoard the peace. You can speak peace over your situation. You can speak peace over your church, over your the people you're dealing with, you can spread it. Don't just hold on to it. You know, um, the, the kid, I'm glad you said about that, speaking peace. Because one thing about it, right, if you don't speak peace over that situation or that trial or that tribulation or that problem that you're in, you're going to find yourself uh, being defeated. And so you need to make sure that you need to know the Word of God. Things for, for, the, for joy, for faith and peace, you just you got you got. I'm gonna just tell you, you just got you just got to study to show yourself approved, right for dividing the word of truth. And to go along with that, that would keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Jesus said too, let not your heart be troubled. And we need to realize Jesus himself is the Prince of Peace. Amen. And how can you have Jesus in you and not have peace? Amen. <laughs> So that means you ain't got Jesus. <laughs> or you're not used to fighting the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Amen. Amen. Says you have to, right. Sounds like, so almost sound like you might need to be, Doing you, you might need to be fighting to keep this stuff, y'all. Yeah, right. um, so, and don't let someone make you feel bad if you have peace and they don't. Oh, Amen. They blow right. up your phone at the middle of the night. Turn the yeah. thing off. That's right. Yeah. And don't, I mean, if you're at peace, because you believe Psalm 91, there shall no evil be fallen, neither shall any plague come out of thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash. Thy foot gets a stone. If you're resting in that, yeah. and you got someone getting mad at you, yeah. you might need to uh, mute them for a few Amen. days or yeah. 30 days on Facebook. Amen. Do you use them for 30 days? Amen. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's <laughs> really good. But I had no thought about that. We don't, we don't do that at our church. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing what we did because I was looking because I we had our eighth uh anniversary when I just before I left, you know, because it was on the twelfth of uh, August nineteen uh two thousand seven, whenever we got two thousand twelve when we got there. But what it, I, just, I want to just say it like this is that when God showed us when we got there eight years ago to teach only one thing. And that's faith in God's word. And teach them what the word of God say and not what we say. And when we begin to teach them what the word of God say, that is when they begin to grow. And do you know one thing about it, right? Very seldom do we get any phone call from anybody. Because they know if they, I, I already told them, I said, look here, have you, you make sure, have you checked with God before you call me? <laughs> That's what uh, Mr. Dr. Young E. Cho would tell the people, too. He would actually tell them, Amen. pray before you call, before you go into counseling. You pray for a week. But speaking of making someone keep your peace, uh, another thing is this little machine. Amen. You're stand, he's standing in faith. Ah! Facebook. Ah! Amen. Twitter is so 
Someone who's not even related yeah. to you That's right. can be trying to steal your peace, and they're not even, they don't even know who you are because they're spewing out like a volcano. That's right. Their distress and their stuff. We're not in uncertain times. That's right. That's a lie. That's right. The Bible never said we're in uncertain times. He said, let not your heart be troubled. In the world you have trouble, not That's in the right. church. That's right. Not in God's house. But if you grab a hold of the world, start listening to someone who's spewing it out, they'll be happy to share their um, distress with you, Amen. when the angel already said, peace on earth, Amen. goodwill toward Amen. men. Amen. And we'll finish up with joy. Faith, peace, joy, don't lose it. Don't Amen. hoard it. Don't let someone make you feel bad if you have it. Um, one, don't lose it. Joy. The kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace, and joy, joy. in the Holy Ghost. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. The spirit of a man is sustain him. The Amen. Of the spirit who can bear. This is important to stay alive. Amen. And to do what you need to do, so don't let someone, don't lose your joy. That's right, that's right. You know, uh, Jamie was saying this, right? The joy of the Lord is your strength. You know, and, and, and because whenever you lose your joy, whenever you lose your joy, you lose your strength. You lose everything that you got to keep you motivated. So I, I, I don't let people get me down. I don't let the, you know, family members or anybody else get me down. Outside uh, noises, I don't let it get me down. But one thing that I do know, that as long as I trust God, my joy is going to be in the Word of God. And I am going to study to show myself approved, rightfully dividing the Word of truth. Because there, there is my power. The joy that I have is my power. And... So if we remember that the joy of the Lord is our strength. It also say count it all joy Amen. when you fall into divers temptation. And knowing this that you're trying to your faith work and patient. And when you fall into trials and temptation, you don't really feel like joy. You don't have joy. But the answer out of the situation is to count it all joy. Amen. And when you remember to do this, and I've learned to do this, it gives you strength. And you Amen. had a victory. Amen. So it is greater as he that's in us than he that's in the world. And they were saying earlier how Jesus said, in the world, you'll have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Amen. So we really don't have nothing to be crying about and acting Amen. like cowards. Because Amen. he already told us, Amen. you know, you're going to have trouble. Amen. But don't freak out like everybody else. Amen. Now in the first psalm, always work. It still works. Amen. Just put it to work. Amen. Put the word of God to work and Amen. quit crying Amen. like babies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, <laughs> but the, imagine the joy Joshua and Caleb had when they saw the land. That's right. The Bible said the people disheartened the folks. That's, That's what right. they did. They took all that excitement out of their own fear and they and, and strained it and the people wept all night. Then they got up and so don't let someone you know, don't so don't lose it. You cannot lose joy. This is very important. If the joy lowers your strength, then that means the lack of it is the opposite you, you, know, you know one thing about you remember when we were talking about Joshua and Caleb that's what really got me is that you know they when Joshua and Caleb probably give the good report they give that good report first. Say, look here, let's go. Let's take this. We can do it. We are well able people. We can go and take the land that God has promised us. We got let's do this. And then and so, then, then ten other people, freaks, come out that from out the woodwork like the maggots and the roaches and stuff. They came out and they put a, they killed the report. The Bible called it an evil report, and it also <laughs> tells us that those men died by the plague. Amen. We don't want to go out like that. They didn't Amen. make it out Amen. that day. The rest of them died out over forty years, but they died before. Amen. COVID nineteen got them. <laughs> <laughs> The plague, son's plague, plague, plague. <laughs> joy to don't hoard joy. Amen. Amen. This is important in spreading joy and smiling and letting the joy of the Lord. Like you're in church and the pastor says something funny, you can laugh. Yeah. If That's something's right. funny, you can laugh. A lot of people don't. You know, even laughter breaks up tension. But I mean, that's just natural. But don't hold in joy. Don't Amen. hoard it. You should spread joy wherever you're going. And if I guess if someone, if you're a Christian and you're not joyful, just get back with the Holy Ghost and yeah. get something. Yeah. Because you're either spreading joy or Sorry. something else. Amen. You're rippling the 
You're like a uh, pebble in the lake ripples anyway, so you're affecting people positively or negatively. Amen. Even not showing up, staying in your house, What's you are you? negatively influencing people that would probably have seen you. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. do right. not hoard joy. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, he said something very important, right? He said, staying in your house. It's saying, what are you afraid of? I was thinking about that. What, what are you afraid of? <laughs> Why are you hiding yourself? You know, who are you hiding from? You know, it, look here. Go, go, because you, when people see you, they should see the love of God. They should be feel the love of God. When they're around you, they should see and feel the love of God. So do not hide from, from the word of God. They actually are. And yeah. when you are not there, you're not walking through the malls. Amen. Um, when you're not in the classroom. That's right. When you're not where you're at. There, that the supernatural power of God, the life of God, is not there present in the room at all. That's right. So if the Lord's telling you to go to the supermarket to get some food, you might be the only life people might see that day if they're living with, you know, just living with sinners and they're a sinner. Just like children, the children who are saved are actually shining their light forth. God said, let your light so shine. So that is, that's part of, you are the right. light, That's and right. it's going out. And whether you like it or not, That's your right. friends are getting life and joy from you anyway. That's so right. don't let the devil make you think you're not. But so don't stay inside. It, it, one, one, it, let me piggyback on that. One thing that you, you, you might want to take into consideration, right? You are a child of God. Let me, let me, I'm going to understand you to understand this. You are a child of God. You're supposed to be called by God. And people, picture this. If the rapture would come right now, me and James would be gone, right? And you never see this video because it would still be recorded. And nobody would ever, no one would turn it off. I like guess someone that came in and have to look at an archive. Oh, what was the last thing recorded? But what I'm saying, what I'm saying, right, look here. You do not want to miss out on the goodness of God by just hiding yourself. And trying to say, well, God didn't show me to do this. You know, you you know the law. Why are you lying on God for? So, so many, so many of y'all just lying on God. God didn't tell me to do this. But the problem is, right? He told you, and you did not listen at the Holy Spirit. You did not. That's why come so many Christians are dying right now because they don't want to listen at the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, "You're the salt of the earth." <laughs> That's right. Yes. So, so if the salt loses flavor, it's thrown out. So Jesus, like He said, He. He wants you to bear fruit. Oh, we need to stay on this. Yeah, time to be productive. He does. <laughs> you know, he cuts off, you know, but he, he's not happy when you don't bear fruit. That's right. So we're, it's fighting to maintain. You have to exert force against. Amen. There are two forces. It's like a river. You're either going one direction or not. There's no stagnancy in life. And Joy, the final thing is don't let someone make you feel bad. Have it. And they don't. Amen. Do Amen. not. I mean, if you're if you're enjoying life and you're just having a good time in your house, praise the Lord, enjoying watching a movie or whatever, playing chess or something. Amen. And don't let that. We say someone Amen. because sometimes thoughts can come. Oh, you are having too, too much, much fun. fun. Oh, what's going on? Life can't be that great. Yeah. I mean, but Jesus came that we might have life here more abundantly. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich, and he adds no sorrow Amen. with it. And if that was actually true, then you better brace yourself, because that means you're still going to be having problems in heaven. That's right. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because if it's true that you that you know you can't you can't have too much fun, you have to have good in the bad. Then, then just brace yourself because that means that heaven's going to have to have some bad stuff happen to you too. But see, that's not true. <laughs> Don't let something make you feel bad if you have joy in there. Amen, huh? amen, amen. You, you, one thing that I found out, right? Watch who you hang around with. And the reason I say that is because a lot of your fr Christian friends are pulling you down. Because they don't have joy. They really don't have the word of God in them. They just have a little bit. They just got saved. And then after a while, right, they just start pulling you down and pulling on your spirit. And, and that's why I'm, I'm telling you. Make surely 
to you of your friends. Make sure that you choose the right friend so you do not lose your joy. Because you don't need a, a friend that's going to call you every 15 minutes to complain about somebody else. Iron sharpens iron. Amen. The best thing to do for that is to ask the Holy Spirit who to be friends with and who not to be. That's right. And if you are friends or if you're doing missionary work that God sent you on, not you made up on your own, you will have to make sure that you have extra time in the Word Amen. of God and That's prayer right. so you'll be ready if you are, say, a psychiatrist and you're dealing with people who aren't following God and they're sucking off life from you. Yes. So that's why pastors, you have to stay in the Word of God and prayer. You have to. That's why Christians, you got to stay in the Word have of God to. and prayer when you're even in school. Have to. Even at the work because the people of the world need life and they, you know, you just, you know, you just have to keep eating. Stop have eating, to. you'll die. So Amen. quit doing Word and prayer, you'll die. So faith Peace, joy, maintenance tutorial. You must do not lose them. Do not hoard them. You must spread them. And don't let someone make you feel bad if you have them and they don't. Amen. So I'll let Daddy um, say a prayer about this because this is important. We want to, you to stand strong because the next time you, read, you hear something in the news about something bad happened and the devil's trying to steal your joy, because something that went off 4,000 miles away or Amen. something. Or even if you're just enjoying life and the devil starts trying to say, oh, wait, this can't be that good. You know, something's going to happen. Something's coming up. Or when the presidential election happens Amen. this fall or, or next fall, when depending on when you see this video, it will when elections will continue to go. But you can't lose your faith, peace, Amen. and joy. You can't, you can't hoard it. You must spread faith, peace, and joy. And don't let someone make you feel bad if you have faith, peace, and joy, Amen. and they don't. Amen. They might just be living in a totally different kingdom that doesn't afford them that. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. You want to remember Jesus is Lord, and he's your deliverer, and he's the one that's going to set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you right now, Father, for the ones that are listening at my voice. I thank you right now, Father, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. And, Father, I thank you for faith, peace, and joy. Those three are very important, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, I thank you, Father. You say no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises in judgment shall be condemned. That is the inheritance of the saints. You say it in Psalm 34 and 7 that the angels of the Lord are encamped about them that fear him and deliver them. You say it in Mark 11 and 22. Have faith in God. And when you put your faith in God, you have the peace of God, you have the love of God, and you have the joy of God. And Father, I thank you right now for this, this opportunity to be with my son, to talk to you about the word of the living God. In Jesus' name, amen. Live with me. What do that mean? <laughs> What did you, you say that every time, what do that mean? In him we live and move and have our being. That's the, okay. so live, move, peace. <laughs>